tonight from Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. Patriots taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Dallas Cowboys and the New England Patriots. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight? to make sure they have good ball security. That's paramount in a game like this. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And we are underway here in London. On the return, it's Taylor. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now come the New England Patriots led by their 6'5 veteran quarterback, Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile? That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game. And his team is having a whole lot of fun. Because when they score a touchdown, some fans going to get lucky and get the game ball. for the first time with Sony Michelle. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down. Slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. second and six. Here's Newton. And on the connection, this is Ryan Izzo complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards on the play, first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. down carry it's Michelle and this time they were waiting as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 as a linebacker you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback but when you find the gap shoot it and he found it all right took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss Michelle looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. 
Back to back stops make it third and ten. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And yeah, that is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. The Patriots send out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Time for Dak Prescott of the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. I love his mobility, and I think he continues to get better and better as a pocket passer. But how about just his plain intangibles that he brings to the position? Mental toughness as well as a physical presence that helps power any offense. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. This is Elliott. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. That was an example of excellent defense there. They stumped him. So now he brings up a third down situation. If I'm calling plays here, I make sure I put in the hands of my quarterback and get it to a receiver real fast. I'm not running the ball here. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots take so back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at about the 32. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, and it's second down. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. to throw again. Newton throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. From the gun, here's Newton. 
Flush to his right. He'll find his tight end here, Asiasi. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Take it at the 37. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. The ball carrier. He was brought down by Brandon Copeland. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. Brings up second and five. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Over the middle. It's incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target. Third down here. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Prescott's pass intended for Dalton Schultz. Incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has really. They come up here now first down. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. 10 at the 28-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll run it here. This is James White. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. He was brought down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and shut them down. here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he'll drop it underneath to White. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. After the penalty, it's Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. So still 14 yards to go, second down. To throw is Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. 
And he's got this down to the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Another first and ten. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the... And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Kyle Duggar in there to get him. It's a loss of five. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Second and 15 following that sack. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra, really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots, D on third down. Prescott from the gun. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. No move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run it with Elliott. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. New England trying to get to place on offense. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. First down, it's Newton. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. First down. Catch is made by Harry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run good for 18 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. 
and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Got a man open, that's Harry. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well, inside the 25. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Newton. Looking middle, and that's complete. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Two ticks left here in the half. On is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 34. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. If you know about the carport, the trap door is supposed to be awkward. If you know, you know. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. This is Tony Pollard. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Now come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And on that last drive, Bedford on fourth turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. John Simon in on the stop. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Prescott now on second down. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, boy. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. A first down throw for Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Prescott's pass. A gain of six there on first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 43-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing, they're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Again with Michelle on the ground. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second down, Michelle. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Third and long, it's Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. 
and it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally, because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 21 yards, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. And at the 36-yard line. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage, throw another play at them while you've got them rocked on their heels. First and 15. Now Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling has been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and 14. Prescott to throw it. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll bring up a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. 
The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 28-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. On the return, it's Taylor. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. His throw incomplete. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Newton now to throw. This is White on the screen. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Patriots send out their punter as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets, and you might not block them quite the way you want to. 
But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Ezekiel there to stop him, Jawan Bentley. The tackle made at the 47 yard. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this time. They play faked Elliott. Now Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. But now it's third down. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game would expect from him he's been off the mark really start to finish yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on is he a little bit dinged up here or is he just off just by a bit maybe he can get it back in this situation he'll need to now Prescott and this is caught Amari Cooper and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Elliott. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Number 21. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. It's second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Elliott. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. tonight for the workhorse alley and they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game so after a good run by Zeke another first and ten And he'll give it here to his running back. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Working with second and five now. They'll run with Elliott. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage? they do pop one, it's going to go a long Yeah, I was going to say, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. On for the field goal. A 34-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. 
So in a driving lane, he steps up, puts it through just like he's practicing in a gym somewhere. How about that? Any little slip in this weather is going to throw him off. He stepped up there like it was perfect conditions, took dead aim, and knocked it through. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. On the return, it's Taylor. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Tonight's final so Going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.